Let us solve this assignment. First, we need to select the box, then rotate it around the construction plane and finally move it in the Z axis. So here we have the box. Let us drag and drop a B rep. We are going to select the box that is already in Rhino and under transform find rotate around a construction plane. So we are going to rotate the geometry and do not forget right click and set it to degrees. Now we need to drag and drop a range and create a list of angles in between 0 and perhaps 180. Let me set this one to 180 and I need maybe 8 angles. Do not forget the range always, always creates one extra number. So we have the construction plane set to X and Y. Now we are going to move each one of these boxes, each one of these boxes, and let us find out how many we have. Remember, we set eight, but the range will give us nine, one extra value. In which direction do we want to move all these boxes? In the Z axis. So we want to move each one of these boxes in the Z axis. So we need a list of values. We can go to sets, drag and drop a series and connect. How many? To count the series to the vector and the step from 1 to 10.0. That's the distance in between each box. So let me drag and you can see that we more or less finish the assignment. Let me hide the original boxes that are on the floor and there you have it. Rotate from 0 to 180 and the step the distance in between each one of these boxes. But wait, we can do it completely different. Let me disconnect, right click and disconnect the B-ray and disconnect the list. We can move this around, disconnect the geometry as well. And now what we are going to do is first, first to move, first to move all the boxes in the Z axis. So there. We move the boxes in the Z axis. Now we need to rotate each one of them. So this piece of code will do the trick for us. We want to rotate all the boxes. Let me preview and hide the original geometry. And don't forget, don't forget, the range is giving us 
a plus one. So let us x minus one delete one object from the list. So now you have the possibility and let me rotate all of them from 0 to 180. 